Welcome back. Fawn Clutch coming to you from across the verse. And right now, where I am in the past, it's late at night. And I do have to work tomorrow. However, I had a subscriber request and I want to get this video out to you all. So we've been talking a lot about voice attack with HCS voice packs. What's that, you may ask? Well, voice attack is a program that basically runs key commands in the game for you when you say a command with your voice. And they've partnered up with HCS Voice Packs, who hires famous actors to respond to you when you talk to the program. So it's pretty cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out some of my other videos. I will put a link up at the top of the screen right here for the playlist that'll get you started. So the subscriber request was, how do I get a list of all of my commands in HCS Voice Pack? Well, Let's see. I'd love to have a list like this again. I had this the last version of HCS Voice Packs. However, I figure that some of the commands have changed. So with this, I put it all into Excel format. I could come in here. I can filter. Like if I want to say just see the ship commands. Boom. See commands like pin target, next pin target, focus target. Uh, cycle previous enemy or target. See, so you get to see here with the semicolons all the different versions. The brackets tell you anything inside brackets tells you that you can use this or that. So you can kind of learn the language of it just by scrolling through. So if you'd like to get a list like this, I'm going to walk you through it today. All right, so let's say that you have already come over here and you've already dug through your files that you got from HCS voice packs, right? You already dug through and you saw this star citizen manual start here. You got some commands in here, quite a few, but it's not everything, right? You know that there's some hidden commands out there and you really want to know what they are. See, here's an example of some of the educational facts, but you don't know exactly what's in there. Here's the thing, you can dig around and check out even the printer friendly version, which thanks HCS, I appreciate you guys putting that out. Uh, but it's just not enough. So we're gonna have to do it from scratch. To export a comprehensive list of every command in your HCS voice pack profile, you're going to need a third party app. There's a couple options, right? I use Microsoft Excel. This is even an old version. It's 2007, that's what I have on this PC. For work, I use Office 365, so you may have an Office 365 account. If you click on your apps, it shows Outlook, and then you'll have Excel there. Another option, if you don't have those, as long as you have a Gmail, you can go to Google Sheets and create a new one, and bam. Same kind of functionality, right? Different layout. Let's go back here to Excel, see? But similar functionality. So I like Excel, I just know it. I've used it for school and work, so. We're gonna have to run our voice attack. And for this, you're gonna need your HCS voice pack profile already installed onto your box before you can do any of this. So if you haven't already gotten it installed, you can go check out my how to install HCS voice packs video. It's gonna show you how to set up voice attack like from install, download install. It's going to show you how to set up HCS voice packs. It's going to show you how to teach your computer to better understand you so it runs smoother. Um, and then if you already have like an older version of HCS voice packs and you didn't update around the end of June 2018, check your email. You should have an email from them. I think mine was June 20th, maybe, if I remember right. Could be wrong. Anyway, so you'll want to get that newest version because... Uh, that way, when we export the commands, you have all the most up-to-date commands that work with Star Citizen 3.2. So we see here it's listening. Hello? Hello, Eli? Are you there? Oh, look. See, chit-chat is disabled. You can enable it by saying enable chit-chat. Now, like I said earlier, you can go check out the whole list of command. He's still listening. I gotta turn that off. I need my privacy. All right. So you can go check out that, you know, that list that has quite a few of the commands that the HCS voice pack team provided. There's even the printable version. 
But we want to find every little tiny little hidden gem inside there. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to export profile. Now, if you just export it, it's not going to export it to this. It's going to export it to the .vap format, which is something that voice attack reads, right? Voice attack profile. So it's not, you're not going to be able to open it with anything except voice attack. And when you do, you're just going to see this stuff. So if you export that, you're just basically copying all this. So here's what we do. We have to select all, right? So we're going to go to that and we're going to do control A as an alpha. Okay, then you're going to do control C to copy. And then we can go here, paste, control V also works. All right, and then we're going to get all this. Now let's see, we're going to have to drag that because it's going to be long. Oh, good Lord. Let's just see how long it is. Control down. 1306 commands. All right, that's going to take some doing. So, all right. If you're new to Excel, then uh, you'll definitely want to watch some of this. Maybe you'll get some tips. But um, you veterans will probably already know this, especially if you use this in the professional environment. So see, you got all this stuff here on the home. Okay, we're going to go to sort and filter. And like I said, on Google Sheets, it's going to be very similar. They're going to have a filter symbol. All right, so we're going to add the filter. Bam. Now we've got these. Okay, so spoken commands shows you all of them, right? Some of these, like that, they are not spoken commands. These are commands that run when you say spoken commands. These are the spoken commands, ones that look complicated at first glance. All right, so here's what we're going to need to do. I filter by, well, you know what? First, let's make these look better. So let's go ahead and grab these and then go in between them. Just double click, right? So this needs to be much bigger. The spoken commands need to be like most of your screen. I've got an ultra wide, so I've got a little more room to play with because some of these commands are, they have a lot of options. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click up here in the corner and then we are going to do row height just for everything. Let's just make them all 45. All right, now we've got something a little more clean to look at, right? So we've got here focus target, focus target mode, Show overview or display systems or show systems. Display overview, right? So it's mix and match. You see how it works? Okay. And then here's our categories. This is the one that I like to use really to kind of filter by everything. So let's just unselect these and let's just see what we've got for customization. Deploy countermeasures pause. Da, 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 da. This looks like things that we don't really need to know, right? They're not spoken commands. Extra content, that's some of the things we'd like to see because there's a lot of hidden gems in there. So let's check those out. Wow, that's a lot. I have a better idea. Let's just unselect. Let's just check out one. We'll come back later and check these out. Okay, so here's some. Do you think that will work, Doris? Ooh, so since this is the their new Event Horizon profile, which works with all of the different voice packs. You can see all the profile commands for all the characters. All right. I have Eli, and this is this is showing me Doris. All right. So apparently each of these are probably for the different characters. So we could filter that out later, just down to ours. And you know what? Since you can have a multi-crew with lots of different HCS voice packs running at the same time and assign, you know, Eli to engineering and, uh, you know, science to Doris or whatever, right? You could then filter that down to just those, those characters. Let's see what else we have here. Code, that sounds like something's probably not what we want. Check out that. Constellations, that's if you turn on the Galaxipedia, which is there. Uh, so there's interaction stuff. We want to know that. Music controls, I think that's new. I wonder what that works with. Quantum stuff. All right, well, let's see. So here, this is where if you turn on the Galaxipedia, you could ask questions. Tell me about absolute magnitude. Tell me about absolute zero. Tell me about absorption, right? They're alphabetical. So let's see what goodies we have. 
Let's turn off the Galaxipedia now that we know about it. Hell yeah. I killed him. He went boom. Target destroyed. So after you kill someone out in the PU, you know, I'm not saying we should kill people, right? I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying sometimes in self-defense situations arrive or preemptive self-defense, as I call it sometimes, you know, that, you know, you need, you have to take somebody out. And so then now we know, and I don't think this is in the HCS voice pack instructions. You could say, hell yeah. And then you'll get a response, which will execute this command. And it'll play something. Right? So, or you could say, target destroyed. Or he went boom. Right? I killed him. Well, you'd have probably have to, without the accent, I killed him. So, here's one. Look, hello again. Midnight. It's one of the uh, characters you can buy from HCS Voice Packs. Patch me through to the hold. What's going on in the hold? I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. So here we go. And then the command plays. <clears throat> so with this, what I like to do, and you know, we won't spend all of your time watching it, but of how I do this, but I'll give you an idea. Let's find something that's a small, smaller category for the sake. Let's say code, right? This looks like something I will never, ever need to really memorized because it's just something for the game so what I do is I come through here and then I just paint these I don't know let's just say super dark gray because who cares I'll never need to memorize it or see it all right let's go back to something more important like ship controls there's a ton of these combat countermeasures all right that's good enough all right Let's just do these for the sake of the exercise. So what I'll do is then I'll come in here and I will make these some color. Like, let's just say some kind of reddish. So now, you know, I can see these. I can bold face this and all that. Um, and what I'm going to do is put this on my second monitor. I'm going to go through here and I'm going to color code these by category. Then filter out the categories I want to see, right? and then put them on my screen. Now, if you want to get real clever, what you can do is say these combat ones. I could keep these here. I could rename this um, combat, right? Okay, actually, we're going to have to grab everything. Select all. Okay. All right. So now that we have everything here, what we're going to need to do is copy this, move over copy, create a copy, Put it before the end. Then we rename it. Flight controls. And then now we have this and this. Now on this one, we could just come in here and we could filter it out just to ship controls like these. And so that way you could have them different tabs. Anyway. There's many different ways to play with it once you put it in the spreadsheet, but basically I just export it to Excel, I add the filters, and then from there, now I have a ridiculous amount of the controls, including the ones that are not verbal. So like I said, you'll just want to go through there, filter out the ones that are not the verbal commands, and there you have it. You'll have all of your commands, and eventually, You'll have, let's say, something like this. So you can have your chat, your basic functions, you have whatever you want, right? I even put definitions in here I found from their website on some Wikipedia for Star Citizen. So that way I would know, um, wait, what is some of the, what, 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 are, what, you know what I mean? So if you don't know what these things are, you can have an explanation of all the terms here. IFCS, Intelligent Flight Control System. So ComStab, right? Stability. So anyway, you might want to go through the Wikipedia, post that in there. You can have those for quick reference. You, I went through and tricked mine out and made them colorful and created, you know, definition to where I can have it on the second monitor glance over real quickly. Um, I even, you know, color coded them just ways I could remember this. Like I said, this is my old commands from the last version. So I'm going to have to go through here and clean these up. Oh, look, there's one of our combat commands. Okay. Good thing I color coded them. 
That's the one I don't need to memorize. So that's why I did that. Anyway, check out the other videos. If you don't want to have to do all this, of course, I have videos that show all the combat commands. I have some, some basic voice commands. Of course, it was before I turned on advanced control profiles. That's in one of the setup videos that you'll see. Uh, it's in the update video. It's also in the combat voice commands video. Uh, I've got the immersive voice commands video that'll show you all the chit chat stuff like this. So check them out. Don't forget to subscribe if any of this helped you. Maybe I can help you again later. Or maybe I'll bump into you out in the verse. Mm -hmm.